The SR-71 Blackbird was one of the fastest and highest flying planes ever built. But when the Blackbird was officially retired in 1998, it left the gap to be filled in terms of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Sure, there are other aircrafts that the US military can use, but none of them were as efficient as the Blackbird. This particular plane was able to fly at such high speeds, it could easily penetrate protected airspace, observe and even strike a target before enemies could even detect it, let alone intercept it. With the growth of anti-access, area denial tactics, and anti-satellite weapons and counter-stealth technologies, the gap that the Blackbird had left when it retired is felt to this very day. But aircraft manufacturer Lockheed Martin has made certain comments and even tweets recently which hinted at the possibility of the US Air Force getting a new aircraft to replace the Blackbird. Hello and welcome to Aviation Lifestyle. Today we are bringing you everything that there is to know about the US top secret hypersonic aircraft, the SR-72. In a tweet from the 12th of March 2023, Lockheed Martin had said that, quote, the SR-71 Blackbird is still the fastest acknowledged crewed air-breathing jet aircraft. End quote. This was posted in celebration of the Oscars and movie Top Gun Maverick, which had six nominations for an Academy Award. The War Zone and many other news outlets quickly picked up on it and dissected it, stating that the tweet could be a subtle reference to the SR-71, the long-rumored hypersonic successor to the Blackbird, hence why the word acknowledged is emphasized here. Top Gun Mavericks has featured the SR-72 Dark Star in the movie, and while no such jet is known to exist, there has been plenty of hints that the SR-71 Blackbird would be getting a successor soon. In fact, in 2014, NASA had awarded Lockheed Martin a $892,000 contract to study the practicality and feasibility of building the SR-72's propulsion system utilizing existing turbine engine technologies. NASA had previously funded another Lockheed Martin study, in which it was found out that speeds of up to Mach 7 could be reached with a dual-mode engine, which combined turbine and ramjet technologies. Just two years later, in 2016, Lockheed Martin CEO had stated that the company was on the verge of a technological breakthrough which would allow a potential SR-72 plane to reach speeds of Mach 6. But what does Mach even mean, you may ask? Well. Before we get into the details of the SR-72, let's talk a bit about what hypersonic flight is. This usually refers to flights at speed greater than Mach 5, or to put it simply, that's five times the speed of sound. So if the new SR-72 could reach a speed of Mach 6, that means that it would fly at a speed six times the speed of sound. But at these crazy speeds, aircrafts are subject to extreme temperatures and pressures so they need advanced materials and engineering to withstand all that force. Engineers working on developing hypersonic aircrafts are considering composites, such as high-performance carbon, ceramic, and metal mixes for the body of the aircraft, and other critical components. Such composites have been used successfully before in intercontinental ballistic missiles, and even the now-retired space shuttle. The United States have been pursuing hypersonic flight technology for many years now, with the goal of developing a super-fast plane that can travel from Los Angeles to New York in less than one hour. The SR-72 is part of this effort, and according to the reports, the plane is designed by Lockheed Martin to be both a strike and a reconnaissance aircraft. This means that it will be used for both offensive and defensive operations. Its rumored speed of Mach 6, or approximately 4,600 miles per hour, will be more than twice the speed of the retired SR-71 Blackbird. Of course, just like its predecessor, the SR-72 Dark Star will be able to fly at extremely high altitudes, up to 80,000 feet to be exact, which is more than twice the altitude of regular commercial airliners. This high altitude will give the aircraft an unparalleled view of the battlefield and allow it to gather intelligence and conduct surveillance in ways that were previously impossible. But how is Lockheed Martin going to create an aircraft that can achieve such incredible speeds and altitudes? Well, the SR-72 Dark Star is said to be powered by a so-called combined cycle engine. This type of engine is a hybrid between a traditional jet engine and a scramjet engine. This way, the new hybrid engine allows the plane to switch between different modes of propulsion depending on its speed and altitude. So, at lower speeds and altitude, 
the new aircraft could use the traditional jet engine, which provides more efficient thrust. Then, at higher speeds and higher altitudes, it can switch to the scramjet engine, which is more efficient at hypersonic speeds. And of course, with such a complex hybrid engine, the plane will also be equipped with an advanced cooling system, which will be capable of dissipating the heat generated. But why would the US military invest so much time and money into hypersonic flight? Well, there are a number of reasons, but let's first look at a quote from Brad Leland, Lockheed's program manager for hypersonics. Quote, hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across a continent in less than an hour. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today." End quote. But besides the incredible speed a hypersonic aircraft could reach, hypersonic flight could also give the United States a significant advantage over its adversaries. Currently, there are only a handful of countries that would even have the capability to develop such an aircraft, and the US is leading the charge. This could give the United States a significant edge in future countries especially against countries with less advanced militaries. With all these advantages that an SR-72 would bring, there are also risks and challenges associated with hypersonic flight. One of the biggest challenges is developing materials that could withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures of hypersonic flight. This has been proven to be a difficult task, and it is one of the reasons why hypersonic flight is still a relatively new field of research and development. As Executive Vice President of Aeronautics at Lockheed Martin, Orlando Carvalho, stated in 2018, the focus had been so far on hypersonic weapon system development. But as this type of technology matures, it could eventually enable the development of a reusable vehicle, such as an aircraft. On top of the extreme conditions the aircraft will be operating within, there are also concerns about the cost of developing such a plane. These aircrafts require advanced materials, engines and cooling systems, which can be very expensive to develop and manufacture. Despite these challenges, the United States military has been pushing forward with its hypersonic flight program. There has been information about engineers working on the SR-72 using 3D printed technology to create a cooling system that is integrated within its engine. This would solve one of the risks we've mentioned earlier. The plane is currently in development, with Lockheed Martin stating that the SR-72 was scheduled to fly by 2025, and that the aircraft will be able to carry and fire hypersonic missiles. The SR-72 could enter service in the 2030s, if all goes well that is. The United States continue to invest heavily in hypersonic flight technology, and it is quite likely that we will see more advanced aircrafts like the SR-72 in the near future. But what do you think of the hypersonic aircraft SR-72? Do you think such a fast plane is needed? Let us know in the comment section below what you think. And if you enjoy these type of videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon so you stay notified every time that we post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.